Let's talk repeating decimals and how to turn those into fractions. All right, we have our fractionizer bunny, which keeps going and going like our decimals today. Let's start with 0 0.5555, 0 0.5 repeats, five. So we draw that in standard way as five with a line over the top. If it's two numbers that repeat, the line goes over two numbers. If it's three numbers that repeat, you get the idea. All right, so can all repeating decimals be converted into fractions? Are they rational numbers? Yes, all of them are rational numbers. Remember, the only thing that's not a rational number that can't be a fraction are numbers like pi that the decimal doesn't repeat and it doesn't terminate or end. All right, so let's see how we would turn this into a fraction. Step one, you got to set it equal to X, okay? So we can, uh, there's some tricks we can do when we set it equal to X. So then we need to find out what 10X is. 10X is 5 0.55, you know, took it times 10, so the decimal moves one over. Now, what we can do is subtract the two of these. Look what happens when we subtract. Yeah, we're gonna get nine X, but what's that gonna be equal to? Five without the repeating decimal, that's right. And I bet you can see where this is going. It's gonna turn into a fraction, right? Yeah, divide both sides by nine to get X by itself. And you've got X equals five ninths. Five ninths is equal to 0.5 repeating. Next example, 0.37 repeating. All right, so let's try that again. X equals 0.37 repeating, right? Now, how are we gonna get rid of that 0.37 repeating? We can't just take it times 10 because then you have 3.737 and that doesn't work right. We have to take it times 100, that's right. When we take it times 100, we move that decimal two places in and we're left with 100 minus at 100x minus x which gets rid of that repeating 37 so we see 99x equals 37 on the dot 99x equals 37 let's divide both sides by 99 and we have our fraction 37 99 last one it's a little trickier 0 0.035 where the 35 is repeating. Okay, so if we put that times x, right, it, it's gonna be a little hard to work with. Watch what happens when we take it times 10. 10x equals 0.35 repeating. Now look, everything repeating is now, that's all that's left on the other side of the decimal. We've taken the zero over. In order to get rid of the 35 repeating, now we have to take x times 1,000. 1,000 x is gonna equal 35.35 repeating. All we have to do now is take our 1,000x minus our 10x, okay? And look, it's that simple. We know we're going to get rid of the 0.35. The decimal's gone. And 1,000 minus 10 is 990. So let's simplify. 990x is equal to 35. So let's divide both sides by 990 to get x by itself. And we have 35 over 990. But we're not done yet because these share a common factor. Their greatest common factor, one ends in five, one ends in zero. You know both of them have a factor of five. Yes, so our actual answer in simplified form is seven over 198.